Our story begins in Rome in 897 during the papacy of Pope Formosus. He was a revered figure in his time, known for his piety and dedication to the church. However, his death triggered a series of events that would leave historians scratching their heads for centuries to come. Shortly after Pope Formosus' death, his successor, Pope Stephen VI, had an unusual idea. He decided to dig up Formosus' corpse and put it on trial for crimes committed during his papacy. Pope Stephen VI had the body of Pope Formosus dressed in papal vestments and placed on a throne in the Basilica of St. John Lateran. The accusations against Formosus were numerous and bizarre. Pope Stephen VI, fueled by his own political motives, accused Formosus of perjury, violating church canons, and seeking the papacy through illicit means. It's important to understand that at the time, papal politics were highly contentious. Various factions within the church vied for power, often engaging in unscrupulous methods to achieve their goals. Pope Stephen VI acted as both prosecutor and judge in this grotesque trial, as the lifeless body of Formosus could hardly offer a defense. Pope Stephen VI declared Pope Formosus guilty, invalidating his papacy and all his previous acts as pope. As a final insult, Formosus' papal vestments were removed, three of his fingers were severed, and his body was thrown into the Tiber River. The Cadaver Synod shocked the Catholic Church and the world, sparking outrage and condemnation. The act was seen as a grotesque abuse of power, a mockery of justice, and a blatant disregard for the dignity of the deceased. Additionally, the Cadaver Synod contributed to the decline of Pope Stephen VI's reputation. He faced severe backlash, not only from the general public, but also from influential figures within the Church. Eventually, Stephen VI was imprisoned and subsequently strangled to death, an ironic end to his controversial reign. Fortunately, the Cadaver Synod stands as an aberration in the history of the Church, and subsequent popes condemned the actions of Pope Stephen VI. Pope Theodore II, who succeeded Stephen VI, nullified the Synod's verdict, declared Formosus' innocence, and reinstated his papacy. It's crucial that we learn from these dark episodes of history, reminding ourselves of the importance of justice, fairness, and respect for human dignity, even in the face of power struggles and political ambitions. And there you have it, the chilling tale of the Cadaver Synod. We hope you found this dark chapter in history as fascinating as we did. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel for more intriguing history content, and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you won't miss our next video. Until next time.